Hey there and good evening to you. Well, Baylor Athletics is moving forward on a new basketball pavilion on the banks of the Brazos in the wake of their largest current gift in Baylor history over the weekend. And while the basketball coaches are fired up, this is a feather in the cap for the rest of the athletics department too. If you ever stand still, uh, you end up getting beat. Baylor Athletics took a huge step forward on Tuesday in an ever-present arms race in big-time college athletics. I've often said the only thing worse than being in the facilities arms race is not being in the facilities arms race because you, you fall behind. The university is moving forward with a basketball-only pavilion that will hold about 7,500 people with two practice gyms, one for each basketball team. Definitely a, a big advantage now uh, people choose your school because of a facility rather than maybe not go to it. Our facilities uh, uh, are nice now, but again, it's kind of like the iPhone. If, uh, uh, if you have one that's a couple generations old, it's just obsolete. The seating is about 3,000 less than currently fit in the Farrell Center, but these days for Baylor, less is more. Initially, I wasn't really excited about that because we sell out. Mac obviously has done his homework with some help putting you know numbers together, and I trust that this is going to be awesome. The renderings released today are just that, and Baylor will work with the coaches on what they want their new home to look and feel like. All of us have been involved in, in construction projects, and you have to treat them like you only get one chance to do this right, because that's the truth. And we will make sure, I promise this, that, that we do our due diligence and, and make sure that we, we get this right. This not only benefits the basketball teams, as the vacated Farrell Center will get a projected $20 million facelift and become the home of Baylor Volleyball and Acrobatics and Tumbling. Like Baylor just continues to set the standard. There's not going to be another school in the country who has their own practice facility um, and the caliber of practice facility that we're going to have here, too. You know, our competitors have already known to use it against us, and you'd be surprised how many kids, and I, that's one of the questions they ask, so it's huge. As far as the timeline, Athletics Director Mac Rhodes didn't get into specifics, saying there were more funds that needed to be secured, but said things would get going sooner rather than later. 